Got the wife, the baby, and myself out here at the local high school. Running laps, wife did a half a mile, then she did some rounded back handsprings. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Very good. I ran a mile, uh, trying to find my lactate threshold. I ran the first two laps at a minute 30 pace, and then I slowed down to uh, about a minute 45 for the last two. Finished in the like 640 or so for the mile. Um, could have pushed it a little bit harder probably. Probably should have pushed it just a little bit harder. But just trying to learn where that balance is. And it's also like and 95 degrees. It's 95 degrees, sweating my ass off, sun's out like crazy. It's five o'clock almost here, at the end of the day. And I had a heavy chest workout earlier. And that little guy, Beckett. Beckett, what do you say? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. So can you say hi? Say hi. Uh -oh. Say hi. <laughs> I need some dinner. Headed to the gym for a little back workout. Thought I'd do a little pull in the GT500 out here in Mexico. So let's see how this goes, baby. She's making about 900 maybe to the wheel. Probably mid eight. Uh oh, we got a hero. Got a hero pulling out in front of me. See if I can still get this run off. I think we should be okay. They're getting some distance, so we'll see how it goes. Seven speed dual clutch transmission, 21 Shelby GT500. Come on light, give me the green. That is one thing about this light. It tends to stay red for very long with very short greens, but here we go. Let's see how it goes. Uphill, by the way. Here we go, baby. Windows down. Mexico! Alright, so I'm going windows up here for a minute. Oh, let's see if we can get this view. This view's a little bit better. Windows up here for a minute. Just uh, kind of ah, pull it down. All right, guys, windows up here for a minute just so I can kind of talk about what I'm going to do. I did a 2.1 mile run this morning, tracking it on a new app called Strava. So you guys can follow me there if you want. It is Maddie Light, my username. And that 2.1 miles, I believe, was in about 17 minutes and 10 seconds through the back of the neighborhood, which has around 150 to 160 feet of elevation throughout it. So there are a few big hills. But we were powering through. I was rocking them, rocking my New Balances, my new Rebels that I bought. Very lightweight shoe, very good shoe, open box toe, so quite a bit of room, which is nice, and I love that. So that was around 8 o'clock this morning. Now it's 10:45. Uh, my wife and I are building a new house out in Winsville, so went out there with my sister and brother-in-law and their little baby Bennett to go check on it and kind of walk them through it show it to him it was very exciting. Our son, Beckett, who is six weeks younger than Bennett, came with us, and that man just wants to run around everywhere. So that's what we did in between the run and now going to the gym. So going to Fit City, new gym that opened up here in the St. Charles area. Just about a 15-minute trek to get there, and it is a nice day, as in slight overcast, maybe a little little bit of sun coming out, uh, about 90 degrees here in the St. Louis area. Some exciting stuff. Got my pre-workout, which is electrolytes, and I have some cluster dextrin in here. I also have some Gorilla Mines cotton candy grape, which has a very nice flavor to it with some creatine monohydrate, about 5 to 10 grams of that in here. It's a spot every time. All right, let's go get this back workout in. Some weighted pull-ups followed by some either seal rows or chest supported T-bar rows. A little bit of biceps after that. And then we are going to finish it off actually with some lateral raises. And hopefully in a little bit, I'll be able to show you guys what that looks like. What's up guys? Gonna throw a commentary over the top of this. This is the new Fit City Gym here in St. Charles County, and it is wonderful. They're calling it the Mecca of the Midwest, and I think it's fitting because it's the best option that you have in the area, and I have tried almost every gym in the area. So, with that being said, I started this workout with some weighted pull-ups. 
talking a little quiet because Beckett is sleeping in the next room. And there is a crazy storm going on here in the St. Charles area. But these weighted pull-ups I started with, um, one of my favorite exercises to do, I actually use some rise straps in order, they're like the rubber straps, in order to just help me get a better grip on the bar. So that's what you're seeing me doing here. I'm not actually strapping in, but I am literally just putting the rubber strap in between the rubber handle and my hand because I feel personally like I don't need to wrap my thumb around the bar and I can just get an immense amount of grip where I'm not slipping and I don't have to let my grip be the determiner of when I am finished with these sets. You'll see that I'm coming all the way down to a dead hang and I'm doing my absolute damnedest even with the 45 pound plate attached to me here to get my chin up over that bar. Um, from this video angle it looks like I'm almost pulling a little sideways but I think I just didn't have my phone set up very well because I do feel this very unilaterally in my lats whenever I'm doing these exercises. And I did not take that set, I did not take the first set rather all the way to failure, but I did take that second set to failure. So I did two sets of you know 10 to 12 is what I was aiming for here and I got pretty close to that on set one and set two. So I felt pretty good about it. Uh, but that was exercise number one. Exercise number two over here is going to be this T-bar row, chest support it. I love the chest support on the row because whenever I release the weight all the way to the bottom position, I feel like I can really just like get it freaking hanging down there and I can let my lats kind of come around, my rhomboids kind of come around, and I can just let those muscles just stretch. So really emphasizing that stretch bias on this movement in general. And the best thing about this T-bar row is you can see those, see where my hands are placed there. So those do fully rotate 360 degrees. So as I'm pulling back, if I want to bring them in a little bit, I can, which is wonderful. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm doing my damnedest to drive my elbows back behind my back. And at the very bottom of that range of motion, I am just trying to stretch it out as much as I can. You can see at the end, I'm using a tactic that I saw Jeff Nippard use, and I'm actually kind of shrugging my shoulders backwards, not up, right? But backwards whenever I feel like I can't manage another physical rowing rep. So love that exercise. If you've never tried it, give it a shot. I don't think you're gonna be able to see this one very well <laughs> because the seat was much lower than I thought it was and the angle's not very good. I'm gonna to have to invest in a little tripod or something. But I grabbed, this looks like my second set. The first set I did 37 and a half. Shout out to this gym for having these two and a half pound increments, by the way. It's freaking awesome. But I literally just did some dumbbell curls here. Are these the most scientifically proven movement to grow your biceps? No. Have I done them for the last 12 years and do I absolutely love them? Yes. Is the mechanical tension great at the bottom of the movement? No. Does it give your arms a little bit of a break before you go to do that next concentric rep? Absolutely it does. So pros and cons to every movement, guys. Uh, the key is finding something that you like and sticking with it and progressively overloading it and deloading it from time to time. Um, something that you'll hear me say and something that I've heard a lot lately, which I love, 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 love it, is that there's no such thing as overtraining. There's just under-recovering. And I could go off on a tangent about that, but really making sure that you're recovering before you go back into the gym is critical. I think there is a point of diminishing returns when it comes to training, but as long as you're recovered before you go back in and hit that next workout, you're gold. If you're not recovered, you should probably wait an extra day or you should reevaluate how hard you went that previous time because you're probably doing more damage than good. So uh, this exercise is wonderful and if I don't, there's three different ways that I like to do lateral raises, I guess I should say. This machine is freaking awesome. I absolutely love it. It's the second time I've actually ever got to use one, and I'm so happy that this gym has it. However, if you can't do them this way, there's two other ways that you can do them on cables or with free weights. With free weights, if you lean to the opposite side and do your lateral raise, you change the point of tension, and I've actually seen significant improvements. Um, in my form and in my 
lateral delts because of it, and I love that. And then with cables, putting the cable up so that when your arm is at the bottom of the movement, you're making a 90 degree between the cable itself and your arm. You're making a 90 degree angle right there. So you can see that I'm just showcasing this bicep machine in the last last part of this video here. Um, I did do this and I did do this before the cables. I just totally forgot to record it. So here's, a, here's another angle just from behind on me doing these lateral raises. Love them. Again, if you guys have never used this machine and you have access to it, I would suggest that you give it a shot. What's up, dudes? That's a wrap for the workout. Pretty good back workout. These windows definitely need to go up. It is so loud in this car whenever they're down on the highway. But that's a wrap for the workout. Great back workout. A little bit of arms, a little bit of shoulders that you saw. Some very unique Atlantis machines at Fit City. After that workout, I came home, made some freaking food. I decided to make some tostadas just because they're really simple to make. They have wonderful macros and I've been really, really into corn tortillas lately. If you throw a little Pam down in your pan, haha, <laughs> you can fry these things up a bit with little to no extra fat and you can have some absolutely delicious tostadas. Um, topped it off with a huge bowl of fruit because how many calories is in that bowl of fruit, guys? less than a hundred. Pretty awesome. All right, guys. And the next day you can see it in the new little intro that I posted uh, for this video that I made up, but Nikki and I are building a new house about 20 minutes away from where our current house is. As the family's expanding, we need more room. So we said it is time. So here is the framing. You can see the house is framed here. The roof's on, which is great since it's been storming so much lately and the windows are in now too. I don't think they were in yet when we were here. Maybe they were. Yeah, it looks like they were. There's the door and whatnot. But this is the kitchen we're walking into now. Nikki's kind of pointing everything out. We noticed there was some broken glass. I know the home builder will come through for us and fix it. But just kind of showcasing what we're doing here, guys. We're really excited, and I'll make sure to keep you updated. What's up, guys? That did not quite turn out how I thought I was going to. So it's pour down right here. And uh, as you can see, it still is. I still got my run in. Um, didn't let it stop me. Although it didn't start until I started going maybe about half a mile in or so. And then it started coming down so heavy. I actually had a guy stop and uh, ask me to get in. So he gave me a ride home. One of the guys in the back of my neighborhood, nice guy. But I declined, said I love it. And that's how I feel about this this morning. I do love it. I love the challenge. Um, not really any pain. <laughs> uh, a little bit of sweat, but you wouldn't know it since the rain was nice and cool. It definitely dropped, you know, 10, 10 degrees or so as it started raining. So that kept me nice and cool. In fact, my ears are like cold, like fall time cold, where I feel like I need some uh, earmuffs or some shit. So I'm soaking wet. Um, my shoes are soaking wet. Everything about me is soaking wet. Didn't even feel like I need to drink up my water bottle. I was going to do four miles this morning, but it's just coming down so heavy. I couldn't even look up. I had to look down while I was running, but I am familiar with uh, the back of my neighborhood, so it was okay. Anyway, got it in anyway. Um, documenting the process. Talk soon.